I was always afraid to fly in an airplane. Uh, grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, and uh, just never got on a plane until I was 21 years old. I was playing for Youngstown State University, and we had to fly down to Tennessee to play a team, Tennessee Tech. So I remember I was terrified and uh, got on the plane with the team and uh, sat a window seat on the left side of the plane. It was a prop jet. And we took off and uh, everything was cool. And uh, it was a beautiful fall day. Uh, the only problem, the kid sitting next to me on the aisle was a guy by the name of Gene Farrow. And Gene went about, I don't know, 315 pounds. I was concerned about that weight in the plane. And, but everything was going cool. And I was looking out the window. I remembered looking down at the checkerboard, you know, how it looks from a plane. I had never seen that before. And uh, it was beautiful. And I was just relaxing and thinking, man, this is, this is really nice. What was I ever worried about? And then there was an announcement from one of the pilots. And he said, if you look off to the right side of the plane, we're going to be passing over the Ohio State football stadium. And you're going to get a good look at it. And everybody started running over there from you know the left side to the right and the, looking out the window and Gene started to get up to go over and I remember grabbing him around the neck with more strength than I ever possessed and said Gene you're not going anywhere you, you you're going to make the plane flip over because uh, that's what I believed would happen uh, of course it didn't happen and uh, we had a good flight uh, landed safely and ended up winning the football game so anyway um that's my that's my uh, my flight story, and uh, I want to wish the uh, best of luck to the Palm Springs Air Museum, and uh, yeah, hope you raise a lot of money. Okay, bye bye.